Okay, what's going on everybody and welcome to a smart investor channel. So today I'll be talking about no other than LCA and it's amazing day they had today followed by a technical analysis of the charts and my next move into the place. So you guys know I already did a video on this yesterday and today was just great. For those new to the channel, I'm a corporate professional, I'm a stock investor, I'm a real estate investor, and I'm a passionate gamer. Yeah, I love COD, Call of Duty, Counter Strikes, for those who know. And now I also do YouTube videos to share my knowledge and my personal thoughts on investment, but most importantly, to share my passion with you guys. So that being said, please smash that like button if you like the content today, and also subscribe now and hit that bell to not miss any of my future videos. So now let's get right onto it. All right, so today LCA finished at a skyrocket new highs, baby, $23.38. That's a 18 plus percent. Uh, post market, they're dropping slightly at 1.24%. It's fluctuating, but I mean, this has been an amazing day, guys. So, congratulations to all investors out there. We did an amazing job today. I did speak yesterday about this uh, stock as I was invested already uh, from way behind, so that's great. But if you guys got in yesterday, I mean, you just guys, guys, did a huge uh, up, upwards as well. So congrats on that. Uh, that being said, what are we expecting here? So as I already expressed my prediction towards the end of the year, especially merge and the announcement that I already told you guys to market on your agendas, right? Coming up for the 18th of December, it's the investor's vote, right? So I think there's going to be a momentum. There's going to be a rallying around this stock. Definitely, definitely. So I see this going all the way up to the $30. To be realistic, between $28 and $30, but definitely I will keep this one here. So you can be as much as an investor for a short time and then sell it at the peak. And also for your the long-term investors, this is a great stock to keep. I think this one's going to be a good challenger towards uh, DraftKings, right? As we legalize in the United States, state by state, they drop each uh, with the Democratic now party with Biden. I think this is going to look great, guys. All right, so now let's take a look at the charts. So today we started off at $21 more or less to drop all the way down to $17. And then look at this beautiful green candle, guys. I mean, it went all the way up to $23.35. So smashing day, smashing. So congrats again. As you can see, you know, this has been a pretty volatile uh, stock. Definitely, you know, the reason we announced that the merging date was uh, actually wasn't known, right? So it's been pushed. It's been an uh, unknown date, right? So there's been a definitely a drop down here, a significant one back from September, right? Uh, and then we gain momentum, right? So that this is this has been a huge upwards since. There's definitely something to keep in mind here, okay? As a long-term investor, if you're already invested in this, well as I am, definitely to keep it for the long term. This is definitely a stock that I see going, I already mentioned in my previous video, to $30 mark. That's in the short term, I believe. In the long term, definitely could skyrocket all the way to uh, DraftKings as we legalize in the States, in the in United States, right? Uh, the legalization of online gaming, this is going to be huge. For the short term, though, uh, in short runners, Definitely, as you get close to the 30 mark, and I believe realistically it's going to go between $28 and $30, well, you should definitely think about selling at that point and taking profits. There's no shame in taking profits, guys. So definitely think about that, okay, for short runners. Even for a long-term investor, if you want to, you know, take profits, it's Christmas, guys, right? <laughs> you want to buy some gifts, you can, you know, sell out maybe 20% of your uh, stakes and then, you know, just maybe rebuy it on the way down, right? So nothing goes up like this, like a straight wall, and doesn't go down, right? So definitely expect a down. There's going to be dips. So that's for the third profile. If you are not invested into Lankeda yet, well, there will be some dips in the upcoming days because the next date to keep in mind, which is the next catalyst, is December 18th, as I mentioned in my previous video, right? That's the investor's vote. So definitely there will be a uh, lack of motivation for some who were more in the short term here for this stock and so on. So there's going to be a sellout at some point in between now and then. So you will definitely have the opportunity to get into this. As I said, I'm aiming for $30 more or less, and I'm going to sell a position of 20% and keep the rest into this stock because I believe it's going to do great as we legalize things. 
So, uh, listen, that's as far as I'm concerned. The volume was good today. Um, definitely, I see momentum is starting to grab. There was definitely low volumes before that, right in between. Uh, so now I see this going upwards. Um, that being said, listen, I'd like, I'd love to know actually your comments. What do you think? Where are you positioned? Are you a short investor on this, long-term investor? Have you not bought in yet? Uh, leave your comments below. And uh, let me know if there's any other stocks that you're looking into. And, uh, you know, definitely I'd be happy to cover those as well. So that's it, guys, for today. Please just smash that like button if you like the content today and subscribe with the bell to not miss any of my future videos. I'll be keeping you guys updated on all this. And, well, I'll see you next time. Peace out.